Welcome everybody! Here we are, back with more Mass Effect 2. And, um, it's been a, uh, this is probably the first recording since, um, since the, uh, hard drive. Ah, my brain is really scattered right now. Since the hard drive started doing its thing, yeah. Um, unread messages. So yeah, this is the first recording since the upgraded RAM, so I don't know what this game's gonna run like, and we're gonna figure it out. Reports tell us you've been operating in the Omega Nebula. We'd like you to look for a situation on Lorik, a nearby planet in the Fathar system. Scan the planet for our base, where we believe that Cliffs Mercs are holding one of our operatives. You should be able to detect the operative's transmitter, extract the operative. If the operative is beyond rescue, recover any relevant intel that Eclipse may have collected. It's a very delicate matter, Shepard. We trust you in your discretion. Okay. Shepard, I don't know if you remember me. I had a gun and you stopped me from hurting myself. My doctors say I'm doing better. One of them works with the people you work for. He told me he could get a message to you. I don't know what it would have happened if you hadn't talked to me the other that day. But the doctors are helping me. I am getting better. They put me in a special school and say that I am doing good. The doctors say that other people are getting taken like I was. I hope you can help them like you helped me. Thank you, Talitha. From Consort Shairi. Shairi blah blah blah. Shaira. I thought that my gift of words had been incorrect. An embarrassing notion. But my contacts tell me you yet survive. I am pleased to hear that your journey continues. Though I sense that you head towards even deeper darkness. When you fought Saren, on your only your resolve was tested. But now I fear you cannot rely on your own strength. Or I fear you cannot rely only on your own strength. Take whatever steps you must ensure that those battling at your side fight with clear minds and glad hearts. Be well, consort. From John Whittenson. Uh, hey, Arya gave me this address. I think I met you on Afterlife on Omega. You stopped me from joining up with those mercs who were trying to take out Archangel. Man, I was so pissed off at you. I got blind drunk that night, and it was a few days later before I got it together enough to check the news vids and saw that almost all those mercs had been killed by a Archangel. I don't know who you are, or if you got out of there alive yourself, but thanks. I felt really stupid when I heard about the body count and how I could have been part of it. I'll make the most of what you did for me. Well, you're welcome. You're all very welcome. Except for you, Cerberus Command. You're making me do stuff. So, uh, you want to talk to me about Garrus there, Kelly? How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. Garrus is tough. He's a soldier. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, It will be alright. He'll be fine. Garrus doesn't need anyone to hold him. True. How may I help you, Commander? That was creepy, Kelly. Please don't teleport. Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Okay. Anything else, Commander? No. Nope. That'll be all. I'll be here if you, you can, need anything. Uh, leave me alone now, Kelly. Thank you. Thank you. Do 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 do. I'm gonna talk to Joker. He must be happy to see Garrus again. Hey, Joker, Garrus is back! Yay! Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, cause he was totally my favorite, with that pole up his ass. <laughs> oh, you. How are things? I assume everything's going well up here? It was, until the thing started questioning my every move. It won't let anything slide. You were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. Not falsifying, tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. That's fine. Harmless self-promotion. Edie can ease off on that. Very well, Shepard. Yeah, go pow. I win. Joker. <laughs> right, right. No hard feelings. Good game. <laughs> Joker. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Oh, Joker. You crazy, crazy man. So, I'm thinking this, this first episode here might be a lot of talking to people because, you know, we just got Garrus, so there's people to talk to. Also, I know there's, like, other characters, but I don't know how to get them, so, yeah. Except the scientists. I know how to get him. I wonder if the other characters I get after I get the scientists. 
Nobody cares about Jacob. I'm going to the crew quarters. Because Garrus is there. So it seems like a good idea, I think. You know, just maybe. So I didn't do the, um... I didn't do the processor check my brother had me do for this game. Mostly because, for some reason, with my new install, Fraps won't let me set processor affinity, and it's really weird. So, yeah. This is taking forever to look. Oh, ha ha ha, there we go. That took a while. <laughs> What's in here? Oh, you guys. You guys were the ones talking about Jane Cobb, weren't you? Well, they were talking about Kent, but it's like, same difference. Come on. Same difference. Is Garrison here? No? Okay. Just checking. Kasumi's in there. Kasumi, do you have anything to say? There you are. Hi. One of the girls in navigation thinks she might be pregnant. Even aboard a Cerberus vessel, life finds a way. Who? I shall have them fired! <laughs> no. No, obviously not. I have to say, that Jacob? Mmm. He seems pretty intense. I wonder if he likes Japanese girls with a penchant for kleptomania. I don't know. You could try. Joker and Edie are like an old married couple. <laughs> I keep expecting to walk in on them bickering about the temperature in the cockpit. <laughs> That's a good way of looking at it, Kazumi. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. You better. That painting has a special place in my heart. An art collector hired me to steal it. When I got there, the painting was gone. On the way out, I saw it being hauled off by another thief. I chased him down, tackled him, and took the painting. That's how KG and I met. We never did turn it into our employers. <laughs> Cute. You and KG, Garrus. Garrus! Thank you, Commander. Rupert put the new supplies to good use. You're welcome, I think. <gasps> hey, Chakwas, what's up? How may I help you, Commander? There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. Oh, Chakwas. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. You're like my mom. Actually, you're nothing like my mom. I wish you were my mom, Chakwas. Hello, Miranda. There we go. Um, what's up? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Really? You don't want to talk to me? Well, you know what? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Okay. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Fine. If you have nothing to say about Garrus, then, you know, F you. In your face. In your face? Ah, I knew he'd be over here somewhere. What's this? Oh, that's Edie. Screw you, Edie. Huh? Yay! Shepard, need me for something? Not really. I just want to talk. Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we joined up with them sooner. You're okay with the, the, but the... You sure you're okay working with Cerberus? I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidomis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? 
Sedonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Do you know where Sedonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. But I'm not talking to you. No, Garrus, I'm not done talking. Shepard, need me for something? What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. Should have a bit more kick. I still don't like our chances against a collector ship, though. Not unless we upgrade the guns. Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. I just got a text message. I don't know if anybody heard that, but... And I can't check it because I've got the phone stopwatch going. Just to make sure I don't go over my time limit. Okay, Garrus. Thanks. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Disruptor torpedoes? Sweet. Javelin? Sweet. Anything else Garrus wants me to get him? Sweet. Because, you know, Garrus. He's Garrus. That makes him awesome. By default. Next, I'm going to back out. I don't... Uh, he's checking my phone right now, actually. I don't... I don't recognize the number. And now I'm texting while recording. Because I'm so professional like that. Aren't I? I'm just a super professional. But that's okay. I think I have another link. Oh. Hello, music. My private terminal. This is where we get to see the achievements. And my space hamster. Oh, I love my space hamster. I should feed my fish though. Here you go, fishies. Have food. Have delicious foods. Also, we're getting rid of the watermelon motif because we kept that for a little bit, and it was fun. It was fun. It was def definitely fun. But now we're, we're going back to... There we go. Now we're back to good old Shep. Just as she is supposed to be. Fashionista. Woohoo! Because that's the real achievement right there. <laughs> the best achievement. Let's go down to engineering and we can do that as well. I'm really glad that this is kind of an episode that I have to record today because it's very easy to do. And some people may know that I have not been feeling my greatest today. So yes. Just putting that out there. So this is easy to record. I don't mind recording this. But yeah, I don't know, I'm feeling pretty tired. I guess I'm just strung out. I could use a good rest, I think. Which is why I'm yawning, oh my gosh, I'm doing it again. <sighs> there we go. Done yawning, good. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. 
actually let's just go down here and hopefully Jack doesn't like brain rape me or something. Don't kill me with your mind! I'm sorry I asked. Hey. What's up? Tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Why? I want to know more, and I'm not going away. I'm here to fight for you. Nothing says we have to be friends, but whatever. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. I could be genuine. You have no way of knowing. I have eyes, and I have history. You'll back off. As soon as you realize you're not the first, and I'm immune to your help. You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. You let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. You bit. Seems like you miss it a little more than you want to admit. Pick every little word apart if you want, but it doesn't change the way the galaxy works. Come on, you've been around. You're tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl Manara and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. <sighs> right. They helped me into their bed. And when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading, and I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. They sound like selfish pricks. That doesn't mean they were gonna kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Just don't kill me with your brain! I'll bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because, hey, why the fuck not? Okay. Personally, I think all those tattoos are ridiculous, but you know what? You can do whatever you want because I don't want you to kill me with your brain. I have to go, but we should do this again. Wait. My turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? What's your game, Shepard? I've never met anyone like you. Whatever. It'll come back to what you can take. It always does. Oh, hi, Shepard. You're very interesting, Jack. Just don't kill me with your brain. Don't kill me with your brain. Because that would be bad, I think. <laughs> Just think, you know. Hello? Shepard. Let's talk. Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. The hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo. Then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this, picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. What other human info's floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarians, Asari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> Uh, never mind. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I see suffering, the dead, and I think weak. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. 
and there goes my phone again. Stop! Stop it, phone! Stop giving me text messages! I don't need your text messages! Um. So you started small, but you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it. Oh. That's good, I think. That he would try and find a reason to care about stuff. I mean, I hope that's good, right? <laughs> I think it's good. Sounds like a good thing. So I hear that Rupert is actually cooking some good meals lately. Yeah, right. That scunner couldn't serve a good haggis if his life depended on it. But all haggis tastes like ass anyway. Aye, but in the right hands, it can taste like mighty fine ass. <laughs> oh, you might be my favorite, sir. You might be my favorite. And then we'll just go back up to the bridge. There we go. And there goes my phone again. Phone, stop it. Stop No messages for you, Commander. Shut up, Kelly. I'm not in the mood for your shenanigans. I think I've pretty much talked to everybody I can except Jacob, who I am avoiding. Like the plague. Because, yes. Alright, so I'm not really sure where to go now. Guys, um, I'm gonna, like, I guess, take a look at my journal. There's that lost operative, Cerberus on Lorac, in the Fathar system of the Omega Nebula. Another oh, submission. Dossier, the professor. That's Jack. That's Garrus. Dr. Kirst Krogan. Saeed. So I don't see any more dossiers that I can get right now. I just see the collector, Zed, blah, 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 blah. And then there's these assignments, I guess. Normandy crash site, which we'll do later. Project Firewalker. Overlord, we're going to do later. Ah, we can go to the Citadel for Krogan Sushi. Um, the FBA couplings. Oh, wait, did I get those? I thought I got those. I should actually go and um, check to see if those guys got those. Because I got them. I don't think I actually talked to them though so should go down and talk to them and I'll just cut out the loading screens because it's ridiculous there we go why are you hanging okay so I got your couplings you're the best commander we just got those FBA couplings installed now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day we're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Want to join us? Yeah? Come on, Kenneth. A commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Hell yeah, I'll play. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. My Skillion 5's a bit rusty. You'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. Woohoo! I won 500 credits! Yeah! Thanks, Be guys. gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. It's so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me up my own game. You're alright, Shepard. Damn straight I'm alright. <laughs> you bet your ass I am. Phone. 
you don't text someone back and it's like fine you know what leave me alone leave me alone turn off my freaking phone if that's what it takes now we can go and get the um I don't know what we're gonna do I guess we'll go get the scientist just because I, I like that but at the same time it's a story quest and I want to get all the side quests done and blah 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 did I just dock on him? Well, he's here. I might as well. <laughs> might as well. Makes makes sense, I think. Better make sense anyway. Oh, yeah, I'm really tired, guys. 